in the quiet universe when we look at the night sky far and far away by using the telescope we see the beautiful colorful universe yes i said colorful universe let's focus our discussion about stars as we are discussing about the stars since last 3 lectures if you are a curious person about universe you must have seen various images of stars i mean colorful stars but why stars shows different colors and what information we get through the color of the stars let's see together so before starting the video let's take a look on today's topics today we will discuss the black body radiation the formulation of quantum mechanics the color of star and the estimation of temperature of the star According to thermodynamics all objects with a temperature greater than the absolute zero radiate energy because of their internal heat in the form of light even our body and earth radiate energy in infrared region stars are extremely hot objects so it is obvious that we should expect them to emit radiation the source of their energy is nuclear fusion going deep inside their core there are some objects which can emit energy in all possible wavelengths of light and these objects are called black body stars also radiate from the region radio waves to gamma rays so they can be considered as black body and if they are they should emit light of all colors of visible region but we do not see all colors in the star at the same time for an example Our sun appears yellow. There are blue stars, red giants, and many more. So why they do not show all colors at the same time? The mystery why hot objects glow color becomes the opening key of quantum universe. Let's come to the beginning. In the beginning of 20th century, Lord Rayleigh and James Jean explained the black body radiation using the idea of equipartition theorem. According to this the heat energy of hot objects can be defined as the kinetic energy of objects particles jiggling in all possible ways the all possible ways are called energy states at equilibrium heat energy is evenly spread among all possible energy states the jiggling particles radiate light of the same frequency of their vibration So there was nothing wrong in the explanation of black body radiation for low frequency range but for the high frequency by using the same idea religions predicted that the intensity of radiated light becomes very high reaches to infinity according to which the universe should be filled with extreme energetic gamma radiation which is insane This problem was called ultraviolet catastrophe. This shows there is something fundamentally wrong with classical mechanics. According to Rayleigh and Jeans, the particle can vibrate with any frequency because classical mechanics allows it to do so. Anything can be divided infinitely and there is no shortest of anything are the assumptions of classical mechanics. German physicist Max Planck attack this problem with a different mathematical approach and eventually he succeeded by an accident he assumed that the particle can vibrate only with a multiple of a smallest frequency multiplied by a constant number actually he was still applying classical approach as he was thinking that his constant will finally come out to be zero he thought to remove his constant h from the final expression as it was only a mathematical approach but the constant never removed this led him to the result that there is a smallest energy for the vibration of the particles the energy is not infinitely divisible it is quantized the constant was called the planck's constant 
the actual value of Planck's constant is yet to be measured. The Planck's constant governs the behavior of everything in the space-time. Max Planck was awarded Nobel Prize in 1918 for his discovery of energy quanta. Later, Albert Einstein suggested that it is actually light which is quantized. And in 1921, he was awarded the Nobel Prize for his work on photoelectric effect, which describes the quantization energy of vibrating particles because they either absorb or emit quantized light energy, which is later known as photons. So, after finding the Planck's constant, Max Planck successfully described the black body radiation curve because it limited the energy that high frequency vibration could hold. So, it described the shape of black body spectrum exactly across all frequencies of light. Now, we have reached the black body radiation curve. Here we can see that there is a particular frequency or wavelength which dominates over the emitted energy range. Let's see the example of Sun. Sun emits energy of all wavelengths because it is almost a black body. But why it appears yellow? Because the maximum emitted wavelength by the Sun is yellow color wavelength. What it means is the yellow color wavelength the only wavelength which emitted by the stars in maximum amount? No. To understand this, let's go to the Wayne's displacement law. This law is only valid if we go towards the shorter wavelength. On experiment basis, Wayne states that the wavelength peak of a black body radiation curve changes with the temperature of black body. When the temperature of a black body increases, its peaks moves towards the shorter wavelength. The peak wavelength is inversely proportional to the temperature of body. This can be written as the peak wavelength into temperature is equal to a constant number. This constant is turned out to be 2.898 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter Kelvin. Now, if we know the one variable, we know another also. Let's see how to obtain. The peak wavelength belongs to a particular color. So, if we know the color of the star, we directly know its temperature. Stars appear in different colors. Our eyes cannot directly observe all wavelengths. So, the color of a star is measured by comparing its brightness in two different wavelength bands using the filters. Filters are the optical devices which allow light to pass in a limited range of wavelengths and thus allow photometric observations at one or two specific wavelengths. There are U, V, V, R and I filters. The most common filters are ultraviolet, blue and visual. Now you are able to estimate star's temperature by just knowing its color. And it is the time to look at the topics that we are going to study in our next video. In the next video, we will see the color index, the bolometric magnitude and correction, and the size of the star. Thanks for watching this video. Discuss your views about the approach of quantum mechanics in the comment section. Share this video with your friends and keep watching Easy Physics.